Hello everyone, this is Dipali and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will understand the differences between employee profile and people profile along with the difference between EC and EP in detail. After watching this video, you should be able to understand what is employee profile version 11 or version 12, what are background elements, what is people profile, examples for different blocks on the people profile, what is the difference between employee central and employee profile popularly known as EC and EP, what data is shown on the header or in the job information and in the employee profile, what data is contained in the employee export, is employee profile section a portlet or a portlet of people profile, is the employee profile portlet part of people profile, how to differentiate between employee profile and people profile on the UI, how does data flow across different modules, multiple reasons for the data to be out of sync and the role of employee profile in the design process. I would recommend you to watch this video till the end and people who are new to the topic should actually check this in the test instance to get the most benefit out of it. Moreover, please also check the other topics in the playlist. Link for the playlist is provided in the description below and practice those as well in the test system to enhance your confidence. If you happen to be new, please consider subscribing down below Hit the bell icon to get notifications on my new videos. Without further ado, let's get started now. Employee profile is an integral part of SAP success factors. It is often used as a basic employee information repository. People profile was introduced to replace this user interface UI with a much faster and modern responsive design. Employee profile is also known as the live data. This is the foundation of SAP success factors for any module. For old users of SAP success factors, it is same as the my employee file or employee files or another similar variant depending on your system configuration. Basic information about yourself or other employees is found in the employee profile. Basic information consists of employee ID, first name, last name, department, division, location, time zone, job title, etc. So if we check this in the system, the my employee file link here takes me to the employee file of the user that is logged in. In this case, the admin user. If I search for the employee, say for example, Joseph, takes me to the my employee file section. This section is the newer Fiori version of the older employee profile and is known as the people profile. The updated employee profile is the people profile. It replaces the version 11 or version 12 interface, it is made sure that all the features in the employee profile are intact in the people profile. This new modern design provides an easy way to customize the view to the employee profile data. People profile can be customized into blocks, which were previously known as portlets. Anything from live profile data, background elements, which are specialized module specific blocks can be replaced to customized blocks. The information can be organized to suit the business needs. It also allows employees, managers, and HRs to have easy access to the relevant information. If you are using success factors, and if it is not already upgraded to the people profile, upgrade it from the upgrade center. People profile will accommodate with new blocks becoming available as you implement additional modules. In order to check the background elements, we can go to the manage business configuration. I am already in the manage business configuration here. There are two sections, employee central and the employee profile. The employee profile section consists of background elements. The employee profile also has the ability to store information in the background elements. These background elements are also known as portlets. Portlets are created for areas like work experience within a company, previous employment, formal education, courses, certifications, etc. These sections are dynamic. They allow for adding one or many line items for each topic. This allows to build a rather robust profile on an employee that can be used in many supporting functions of the company's business. This can be used in multiple cases like finding someone with experience in a particular topic for an upcoming project or maintaining a system of record for things like certifications. Now moving on to the different blocks that are available on the people profile. The people profile can be configured from configure people profile 
So if you search for configure people profile in the search for actions of people, we get this configuration page. Different blocks can be added and fields can be configured on the people profile using this particular configuration. I will discuss the configuration of the people profile in more detail in a separate video. So once the blocks are configured, the people profile view is enabled from the manage permission roles. Once that is enabled, it appears as a view. Say for example, employment, payroll time, these are different views of the people profile. Performance ratings, history and competency skill sets are also displayed in a block of Odin performance and goal management. Learning activities can be viewed in a specialized block offered in learning management. Newly hired candidate profile data can be transferred directly into their background elements in the people profile using a block offered by the recruiting management. This provides a great candidate experience. It also helps to provide the tools and data that HR and managers need as the candidate transitions to an employee. Implementing Employee Central Core HRIS is not mandatory to start using success factors. The employee profile or new people profile acts as the baseline of employee data. This data in the people profile supports all the talent modules and data flow. There are many options available to bring core people and organizational data from existing HRI solution into SAP success factors so that the data do not have to be maintained in two solutions. Employee profile and people profile are essentially the same. Usually, people profile refers to the latest version PP3. EC is used as a short form for employee central. EP is used as a short form for employee profile or people profile. And EP is sometimes confused with employee profile, but it is also sometimes used as a part of platform but EC enhances EP content with EC specific portlets. To understand this in detail, let's talk with respect to data. Now, if we want to understand what data is shown on the header or in the job information and in the employee profile, we will take an example. These are the header fields. People profile header includes only platform fields. Some of these fields like division, department, location, along with a few custom fields, can be copied from Employee Central with the HRIA Sync job. I will create a separate video to discuss the HRIA Sync job in more detail. Most of these fields are available with Employee Export. To check what data is available in the Employee Export, we can search for Employee Export. Tool in the search for actions or people Select export user file and click on download report once the report has run successfully. Also, EC adds blocks to people profile like job information, payment information, etc. So these are the different blocks in the employee central. Say for example, contact information and address information in this case. And these blocks are configured along with the fields and permissions in the configure people profile. It is expected to have the same value of the fields in the header information, in the job information, and also in the people profile. The header and the job information section should have the same data for a field, for example, department. But the source of data which fills these two fields is different. If the header in the employee profile does not show the details, which are maintained in the job information, this is because the header pulls the data from the employee profile the data maintained in the employee profile and the header is the same. In order to check what fields are available in the header, we can go to the configure people profile, click on general settings and select configure header fields. All these fields that are enabled in the configure header fields will be available on the header section of the employee profile. Let's take an example of time zone. The header shows the time zone as Europe, Malta. If I move to the organizational information section and check the time zone, I can see that the time zone for this employee is Europe, Malta. In the people profile as well, the time zone shows the same value, which is Europe and Malta. Consider a scenario that the time zone is changed from the job information. The expectation 
is to have the same value being updated in the header information and also in the people profile. So if I go to the job information and edit the time zone for this employee from Malta to say Moscow and save the value on the organization information is changed to Moscow. Moving to the people profile, the time zone still shows Malta. Moving to the header, the time zone is still Malta. If I refresh this, the time zone is now changed to Moscow in the header section and also in the people profile section. Sometimes this does not happen. This is because the HRIS sync job does not run. In order to re-trigger the job, we can either do it from provisioning or any other change in the job information will actually pick up the old changes as well. Now let's understand what data is contained in the employee export. To know the details of the displayed fields, we can go to the configure people profile, general settings, check the header configuration. If the fields displayed on the header are fine, but the values contained in them are wrong, then this can be checked by downloading the UDF, that is the user data file, which is the employee export file. Pick any user and compare the data for all the fields in the header. The data in the header comes from the user data file. This is the data which is added in the employee profile section as well. To update the header with the correct values, first we need to check why the data is different in the EC and EP and then update the user data file with the correct values and import. If data is maintained in employee central, then we need to sync data to the employee profile. That data from the employee profile will get populated in the user data file, which is the source of data for other internal modules as well, like compensation, PMGM, etc. Many customers may not have employee central. In that scenario, employee profile is the source of data. Once employee central is enabled, the data is synced to employee profile tables. Moving on to our next question. Is employee profile section a portlet or a portlet of people profile? Well, this depends on how you have configured and what name is given to the employee profile portlet. Check if you have a talent profile sections and check if you can see the department job title field in that section. These two fields are a part of the people profile. In order to differentiate between employee profile and people profile on the UI, we can pick one field from the header. In our case, we had taken the time zone field. Compare this field in the employee central job information in the employee export file. The value of department in the header might be different from what is there in the job information. The value of the time zone in the header might be different from what is there in the organization information. The value of the time zone in the organization information might be different from what is there in the export file. So the value of the time zone on the employee profile portlet is same as the value of the time zone on the employee export or the user data file. Since this particular time zone is present in the user data file and in the employee profile, that portlet is the employee profile portlet. The data in the job information and this portlet should be in sync. Job information is EC and this portlet, which is named as employee profile, is actually the platform data. What we see in header is the employee platform data. Going to the job history latest record and making any change and saving triggers the HRIS sync. Once the sync is over, check if the data gets synced. How does the data flow across modules? Data from employee central should flow to platform. Some fields have a default sync. No extra configuration is needed. For example, manager, department, hire date, first name, etc. For custom fields, we may have to add sync mapping via business configuration UI. A background job named HRIS sync will take care of the sync based on the configuration. All the changes effective today or in the past will get synced in real time once the changes are made in the employee central. Future dated changes will get synced on that day after the HRIS sync job is run. If the value of the time zone on the header and in the organizational information is different, this means that the data is out of sync. The data can be out of sync due to multiple reasons. One, 
HRA sync job is not scheduled. Two, HRA sync job is scheduled but might have got failed. Three, different data is directly uploaded into employee profile using employee export file. The HRA sync job details can be checked from provisioning as well. Finally, let's talk about the role of the employee profile in the design process. There is sufficient time for design planning, involvement of all business SMEs across all processes during the explore phase of a greenfield implementation. While designing the process, it is important to define end-to-end -end processes across different modules like employee central, talent, time, payroll, benefits, etc. with clear roles and data exchange. Process variance for regular employees and contingent workers is also defined during the design process. The ownership of data across systems is also important. The data which is mastered in EC and which is only needed in time, payroll and benefits is decided. The data that needs to be synced back to EC is also separated during this phase. The employee central serves as HR core. It contains relevant information to manage employees through their life cycle with an organization. It contains all data from hire to retire or termination. The employee profile serves as a platform for talent management activities and modules. It requires as a set of core employee data housed in an HRIS system, which is employee central for success factors. The employee central contains many data points about employees, such as national ID dependent information that are essential for core HR, but not needed for talent management. Therefore, only a selective set of data are integrated into employee profile. Customers who have already implemented talent before employee central implementation will have to ensure that data required for those other modules is now sourced from employee central via data mapping activities. Employee central leverages MDF portlets. Currently, profile and succession uses XML portlets which are accessible by the talent search functionality. Each portlet will need to be reviewed to determine if they are needed in succession for talent search or if they are replaced by EC. Succession uses a separate profile tab, typically called as the talent profile. Customers can name it differently if they want to, which is a good way to determine what the client considers as the talent data versus the EC data. Examples of talent data might include licenses, certifications, education or functional work history. So this is all I had to share today. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful for you. Do remember to check my other videos as well. Link for the playlist is provided in the description below. You can click the link you see on the end screen as well. Do comment in the comment section if you are looking for any specific topic in the employee central area. See you soon in my next video. Thank you and bye for now.